So now that we have our files in our session, what do we do next? Start mixing? Nope, not yet. What we want to do is we want to organize our session. All right, so as we can see, all these track names reflect the audio event name, and it just doesn't make much sense. You know, if you're mixing a song, you don't want to, you don't care about this long track name. You just want to know if it's kick, snare, hi-hat, bass, or whatever. All right, so the first thing to do is to do a little bit of detective work and figure out what's actually on those tracks. I'm going to click on this wrench right here. This is settings for it. And I'm going to choose solo follow selection. All right. So when I solo a track and I hit the down arrow, it's only going to solo one track at a time. So I can jump up and down. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I can actually hear what's on that track. So let's go ahead and shrink this back a little bit and let's hit play. Okay. So that's called a, uh, by the name here, it's called bells. So I'm going to double click here and call it bell. Okay, this next track doesn't really have anything. Let's go to this next track. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we're going to call it Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to call this Vocal Effects. Okay, I'm going to call that Brass. Kick. Hi-hat. Okay, open hi-hat. 808. Again, I'm just moving through this really fast. Snare. Okay, this is like a percussion. Okay, and lastly, vocal breath. Vocal breath. Cool. So I have the names of these tracks, except for this one right here. There's nothing there. So I'm going to right click on that and choose remove track. You can also use the keyboard shortcut, which is shift T. It's much easier. So let's take a look at our mixer and make sure that these tracks are properly labeled. Here we go. Yep. Everything looks intact. However, the audio events themselves um, don't maintain that name. They don't have that name, bells and hay and vocal effects. They have the original name. All right, so what we need to do is we need to change the name on these audio events to reflect the track name. But before we do that, what I like to do whenever I'm importing files before I start mixing, because at some point we are going to be mixing this, is that I want to make sure I set my gain stage correct inside of Studio One, inside of the mixer, before I actually start mixing. So we're going to leave this alone for now. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to properly gain stage this before we actually print the name of the tracks to the audio event name.